Hi there, I'm Sky. Hi, I'm Aiko. <laughs> Wait, we got that backwards. Hi there, I'm Aiko. Hi, I'm Sky. And uh, we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to do a duct tape dummy. The better the duct yeah. tape dummy is, the better the suit's going to fit you. So we'll be going through all the tips and tricks on what we recommend doing to make sure that you get the best quality suit that we can get you. So we'll be using the Shua brand duct tape for stance. You're going to be feet shoulder width apart. If you're duct taping someone that you're not that close with and you don't want to touch sensitive areas, just have them do it themselves. Getting real weird really quick. Right off to the crotch. Here, can you connect these? Mm -hmm. All right, and we have our assistant here. Our lovely Tune, assistant, Toon. Who's going to help us tape Sky up, because the more people you have, the better. The more people you want this to go by pretty quick, it gets toasty in it there. It gets really toasty. Yeah. yeah. We'll start. And if you give me a couple pieces, I'll keep going in the sensitive areas. When you do tape, make sure you get a good amount of overlap, because you want it to be as sturdy as possible. So when you're done with the duct tape dummy, you don't want to see any of the, uh, the painter's suit. So you don't want to make it too tight, because then you'll cut blood, some blood flow from Yeah, you don't legs. want to cut off circulation, for sure. But you don't want it too loose either, to the point where it's like baggy. You just want to make it like a fitted. Um, oh, you don't have to put your arms up yet. Well, we got to get your legs first. Gotcha. And then we'll work our way up. That way you can rest your arms. This is surreal. Why? I'm excited. <laughs> so when you get to the ankles, you want to tape as low as you can. So like the ankle being right here, you want to try to tape all the way up to that. When you're done with the section, just look over it and go over anything that looks like it's bubbling or folding in on itself. Oh, questionable. If one of y'all wants to give me the roll, I can rip pieces off and hand them to you. I'm a machine! What a machine. <laughs> My body is a machine that turns ice cream into diarrhea. Oh god. A jag. It's okay because he's got a jag. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for cons? We are! I'm just ready for cons in general. I just want a reason to go out and suit with people. Same. I actually really miss that. I turn like... Pale. Pale and then shed. I do the same thing. It might just be sun poisoning. Sun... Sun <laughs> TSA. Let's run them! It's a JBL speaker. Just leave me alone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, we got a system going. Yeah, I would say do the armpits like really soon before you start doing the torso. Because then um, you'll run out of slack. Yeah, okay, you, you need it. that slack in there. So I just taped under the arm, left the slack on top, fold the slack over. <sighs> Obviously, like you can put things up so that the person doesn't have to actually hold their arms. Out. Just make sure they're as straight out as you can get. Hey, hey, go. Yeah, what's up? I I you oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Is it creating a string machine? Uh, give me a spaghetti. The spaghetti? Oh no, a spaghetti. <laughs> oh no. Can you reuse that or is it already gone? Uh, the, the 3D print? Yeah. Yeah, it's toast. It, it just looks like a giant ball of. Spaghetti, but it's all plastic. <laughs> plastic spaghetti. Plastic. <laughs> if the person you're taping up is like having some real trouble, like overheating or breathing or something, you can cut up to like their hip here and get their legs free. Or get a giant Gatorade container and dump it on them like it's a Super Bowl. All right, camera stop, but we're gonna cut her out of it. Uh I'm a rapper! So, to go over anything that uh, the video may not have caught, uh, what you want to do is you want to mark your knees, you want to mark your elbows, and... Write right, your name on it! Write your name on it, very important. Uh, cut along the side here, on both sides, along the top of the arm, 
along here, and then along the back a little bit. You want to cut as little as possible because we will have to tape it back up. So the less cutting, the easier it will be on us. If you see anything coming apart, tape it back up. Tape that junk up. Feel free to experiment with different yeah, ways. Yeah, experiment with it. Just if you go crazy with the cutting, try to tape it back up. But if you're having too much trouble taping it back up, just, I, I mean, your maker can do it. Freedom! See, I think that cutting it down the back is just too much work for what it's worth. I think just doing the side up past my hip would have done the trick. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, I'm free! One more thing. Okay, so if you're taping, if you're going to tape it back up, which your suit maker will absolutely love you for, um, just make sure that you tape it up trying to match it up where it originally was. So like, you can draw like X's on it before you cut it, or you can just look at where the, where the tape goes and then try and line it up that way. Um, so if you keep that in mind, it'll, it'll be a perfect shape for them. Well, that was our tutorial on how to do a DTD. Yes. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message us, Thunder yes. Howl Studios on Telegram or thunderhowlstudios at gmail.com. Yes, please. Again, I'm Aiko. And I'm Sky. And we're Thunder Howl Studios. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Man.